Bible says it is better to live at the rooftop mm. of the house mm. than to live with a nagging, mm. fault finding, disagreeing wife, a contentious woman. Mm. I want to let every woman listen to this. This hormone God has put in the testes of men, you know, Makende. Mm. Uh -huh. And in those uh, <laughs> testes that God has put in the testes of, and one of the testes is big, another one is small. Mm -hmm. They should be like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like the breast of a woman, or men. they are also not equal. Thank you. I was just about yeah, to the see breast you of this women. podcast. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you So there is a hormone that God put in a man, mm. and it is called the testron. Mm. The testron. Mm. Testes, the testron. Mm. It no. comes from the testes. Mm. Yeah. This testron does not like noise does mm. not like a conflict mm. the minute you as the wife and the husband you have a conflict especially a conflict that has been that has begun with the wife mm. it gets so scared and it diminishes mm. that's why anytime there is quarreling you have a you had a debated you know toxic argument, argument yes mm. you're not able to have sex because it gets scared that's mm. very true and mm. real husbands mm. real men don't know to fight the battles of their wives so what do they do they withdraw and keep quiet mm. and i want to let every woman know when you see your husband quiet when you see him just giving you mm, mm. Mm, don't think you are winning you have actually lost that man yes mm. Mm? don't feel i watch a evil even him he knows he hurt me the other day uh, you, you want to prove a point you are losing that man and the gap between the two of you is increasing and widening and widening the test thrown hypendi makelele Stress must be avoided. It's, mm. it's not. It's not possible to live a stress-free mm. life. But the word of God is very clear, very clear mm. in the book of uh, Philippians four verse six. Mm. That do not be anxious. anxious. Okay. Do not be, you know, uh, uh, anxious, uh, uh, of uh, anxious of anything, or do not worry of anything. Mm. But by prayer and supplication mm. with, with thanksgiving, thanksgiving mm. make your request no, known no. unto God. Mm. And the Bible says that the peace of God. Mm that surpasses human understanding mm. will keep you, you will guard your heart and your mind mm. in Christ Jesus. Mm. So when you are a Christian, it is good also to, to learn to trust in God. Mm. Though there are issues that are not right at the place of work in your family, mm. maybe with your children, mm. learn to trust the Lord. Mm. John 14, 1 says what? Mm. Uh -huh. Do not be troubled mm. in your heart mm. because you have put your trust in mm. God. So the opposite is true. Mm. The reason why we get troubled mm. over the issues of life, mm. it is because we don't trust God. Mm. So we are trusting on our ourselves. Mm. And the same Bible says, Proverbs 3 verse 6, mm. that do not, do not, do not, do not lean okay. on, on your, your own, own understanding, understanding, but in all your ways. Mm. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge, Acknowledge God mm. and He shall make your path straight. Mm. If He's making path straight, it means there are paths that are crooked. Yeah. But when you trust God mm. in His power, in His sovereignty, mm. He's able to make those things that are not right mm. straight. Mm. straight. Mm. These people that are seated here, it's not that we don't have stress concerning life issues, mm. money issues, mm. you know, parenting. Mm. You get the point, eh? mm -hmm. but we have learned to put our trust in God. Mm -hmm. Apart from just looking for a friend to vent out, mm -hmm. learn to have a personal relationship with God, mm -hmm. where you study the word wow. of God for yourself, mm -hmm. where you pray, you know, and if you're not able to pray for one hour, my mm -hmm. dear, you are still very far. Mm -hmm. Because the purpose of praying for one hour, as Jesus said, mm -hmm. is that you may not fall into temptation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One hour, can't you watch with me for one hour lest you fall into temptation? One hour only. If you can't pray for one hour, mm. my dear, my dear fellow, fellow married men mm. and married women, you will fall into temptation. The temptation of being led by your feelings mm. and being led by what you feel and what wow. you don't feel. Mm. So the word of God is very, it gives you stability. Mm. And that's why we said that you need to have the word of God. Wow. 
uh, on, on one side and you need the Holy Spirit on one side. Mm -hmm. You don't need the word of God only mm -hmm. without the Holy Spirit. You are going to dry up. Mm -hmm. And you don't need the Holy Spirit only without the word. You are going to blow things out of proportion. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you need the two, the two wheels mm -hmm. or the two legs to stand well in mm -hmm. marriage. You, have, you are full of the word of God that has renewed your mind mm -hmm. and you allow the leading of the Spirit because the Bible says, as many as are led, by the by Holy. the Spirit of God, the yeah, the yeah, the sons, the sons of, of God. God. Last time you add, you said that mm. we also need love, love, kindness. Uh -huh. we now, need, we Holy need. Spirit, <laughs> and prayer. So now there are now four wheels. It's nice now complete wow, wheel. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, we have yes. this side, Holy Spirit, kind words, uh, kind actions, mm -hmm. and now we have word, word, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, yeah. This now moving the that marriage wow. will stand the test of time. Mm. I love and some that. of these things, it is just an, an issue. Of getting that knowledge, mm. putting it in your spirit, mm. and when you put it in the spirit, in your spirit, the Holy Spirit helps you to live by them, mm -hmm. and that's why we will repeat again. Mm. If you want to have a successful marriage, hear us and hear us good. Operate from your heart yeah. because it is in your heart where the word of God is. It is in your heart where the Holy Spirit stays. <laughs> the Bible says, "Out of the abundance of the heart, not the out of the mind, speaketh. the mouth speaketh." So even your words for for your partner mm. should be organized from your heart. Mm. But when you operate your marriage from your mind. Mm. You keep on having excuses. Mm. I'm not honey. Mm. And at the end of the day, you punish each other and you find infidelity. Mm. You know, the Bible says, lest you fall into temptation, yes. lest you give the devil a foothold. Mm. So come quickly. The Bible mm. says, come quickly. Mm. You know, in other words, have sex, haraka, haraka. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lest the devil comes in and tempt you. So that's stress has really contributed a lot. Mm. And stress can be in different forms. Mm. Maybe financial stress, mm -hmm. maybe you are struggling in your finances, you have loans, mm. you have debts with people even you fear to meet with some people. There are phones you can't take. Some of you have even changed the phone number. Some of you, you know, your phone stays off unless you someone texts you. All these things, I want you to trust God. That God, in the next few months, the Lord will sort you out. Stress mm. can actually affect the sexuality of her. And then, why is it that if you are stressed one partner, mm -hmm. why don't you share it with your wife? Why don't you share it with your husband? Yeah. So that they can understand the reason why my husband is not active as he was, you know, it's because of what we are going through. But when you keep quiet, you leave me in, in a dilemma because mm. nobody is your mind reader. Yeah. Nobody can get into your mind. Nobody can get into your heart mm. and know exactly what you are thinking. Mm. So let couples, we encourage couples to learn how to communicate mm. in small things and in big things. Mm. Uh, the word of God is very clear in the book of Proverbs 21 verse 9 mm. and Proverbs uh, 24, 25. Mm. The word of God says, it tells a man, it is better to live mm. at the rooftop of a house, mm. subjected to all weather conditions. <laughs> <laughs> Rain, sunshine. Rain, sunshine, you know, uh, dust, dust uh, way, way wide, you know, in a, we, will wind. Will wind. Even Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, mm. the Bible says it is better to live at the rooftop mm. of the house mm. than to live with a nagging, mm. fault finding, mm. disagreeing, wife a contentious woman mm. i want to let every woman listen to this this hormone god has put in the testes of men you know makende mm. uh -huh. and in those uh, <laughs> like testes that god has put in the testes of and one of the testes is big another one is small mm. and they should be like that <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like the breast of a woman. Or men. They are also not equal. Thank you. I was just about yeah, to see the breast you of this women. podcast. You see, <laughs> <laughs> India Makende etu, Naya Makende yao. So there is a hormone that God put in a man mm. and it is called the testron. <laughs> mm. The testron. Mm. Testes, the testron. Mm. It no. comes from the testes. Mm. Yeah. This testron does not like noise does mm. not like a conflict mm. the minute you as the wife and the husband you have a conflict especially a conflict that has been that has begun with the wife mm. it gets so scared and it diminishes mm. that's why anytime there is quarreling you have a you had a debated you know toxic argument, argument yes mm. you're not able to have sex because it gets scared that's very true and mm. real husbands mm. real men 
don't know to fight the battles of their wives. So what do they do? They withdraw and keep quiet. Mm. And I want to let every woman know, when you see your husband quiet, when you see him just giving you, mm, mm. Mm, don't think you are winning. You have actually lost that man. Yes. Mm. Mm? Don't feel, I watch a evil. Even him, he knows he hurt me the other day. Uh, you, you want to prove a point. You are losing that man, and the gap between the two of you is increasing Wide and widening and widening. The test thrown, I pend him a kelele. I become a person. The test thrown a person. As you pend my kelele. So you want to say money is male? <laughs> yeah, you see, uh, uh, what you are saying is very true. Yes. And I think uh, one thing also, you, uh -huh. you asked, why can, if I'm stressed, why can't I share with my wife? Uh -huh. The reason is, uh -huh. maybe it's the approach. Yes. You see, like I'm stressed, uh -huh. I want her to ask me, what is the problem with Imbona? What is happening? Uh -huh. and, she, uh, and she's like, you uh -huh. So the, nowadays you decided there's no sex in this house, you? Uh -huh. It's now like two weeks. You see now, you've just added to the stress that I was already uh -huh. having. So you say, me, I talk to him, I do what he doesn't even listen to me. Mm -hmm. And then this issue of saying that now you want to win. Mm -hmm. So I have told him everything. And he didn't even respond. Mm -hmm. yes. And when you see he's not talking, it doesn't mean that now he, he doesn't have points. Yes. He has to speak and Wow, win. that's yeah. very important, Salano. Yeah. And it's important to let the viewers know mm -hmm. the way God has created the human being, mm -hmm. who is the woman and the man, mm -hmm. the part that receives information is the frontal side of the brain. The frontal side is called the frontal cortex. Mm -hmm. that this part here, mm -hmm. this is what receives information, mm -hmm. receives instruction, guidance. Anytime you yell, you shout, mm. you, your tone changes and you become aggressive, mm. toxic. The information changes from the frontal side of the brain mm. and you begin to receive information from the middle part of the ear, this part called amidly, mm. that it deals with the flight, that it deals with the tension, mm. that it right. deals with the flight. Mm. You know, the, the, you feel you are, you are under attack. Mm. It deals with attack and it increases a hormone called adrenaline. Mm. And, it, and, and the brain tells the body, we are under attack. Mm -hmm. So that's why you find, you talk to your husband for one hour, two hours, then you ask him, babe, what have I said? He tells you, repeat. Mm -hmm. Not that he's ignoring you. Mm -hmm. It is because anytime someone feels threatened by someone whom they loved and care, mm -hmm. you, 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 you provoke the body changes now the mechanism. Instead of receiving the, inf the information from the frontal side of the brain, mm -hmm. you receive information from the middle mm -hmm. part of the ear, near the, the ear. And we have said that the same thing that happens with our children. Mm -hmm. Anytime you are correcting your son and your daughter and you are shouting at him, mm -hmm. even some wanajikonjolea, mm -hmm. because it, it, the, the flight yeah. mode is feeling so threatened mm -hmm. and they don't know what you're gonna do. And the, the, their eyes are really out, you know, bulging out because they feel now they don't know what to do. That's such kind of an environment. It is not a conducive time to, to, to even after that, as they say, we are going to have sex. Mm. So you find you can also create an environment mm. uh, whereby it is so toxic mm. for you even to have sex. Mm. And that's why husband and a wife must be very intentional and invest in knowledge, invest in mentorship, mm. invest in the word of God. Those three things are very important so that you can be able to move on slowly and, and surely. And I want to say this, when you love each other mm -hmm. as a husband and a wife, yes. love from the heart mm -hmm. does not hurt. Mm. Love from, from the heart does not hurt. Wow. Powerful. Powerful. But love from the mind really hurts with words because ah. your tone is high, your, your emotions are high, they are volatile. Mm. So you find you can easily hurt your partner. Your partner. Don't operate from your mind. Mm. If you want to have a, sex, a sexual life that is good, operate mm. from the heart. Mm. Feel the other person's you mm. know, need and meet it because it is in your power to meet their sexual need. Yeah. But when you operate from the mind, you, it is where you, I say, I don't care, mm. I don't mind. Mm. You get that, eh? All these things that people talk about, it is from the mind. So wow. where is your marriage? Are you operating from the mind or you, are you operating from the heart? Yeah. So that's very that, important. That, that, that's, I have a question great. for you also. Yes, yes. What can that mom, what are those other things, or what is her approach towards this man who is now withdrawn, cannot have sex? What are the first things she can do for, not for the man, her as a person? Wow. Mm. Number one is to accept that you have a problem. Mm. Number one. Accept. 
accept that you, you have, have a problem, a problem. Mm. and you have a challenge with the way you talk, with the way you articulate things, the mm. way you speak to your partner, without that acceptance, mm. you can never change. So mm. the first change is accepting that depending with the, with the many comments I've had from my husband yeah. or from my wife, I think I'm toxic mm. and work towards becoming more kind. Mm. Because kind words are intentional. Mm. And also, toxic words can also be intentional. Why? The human brain has been wired to think about 80% of negative things. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only 20%, wow. which is positive. Every human being emits 80% of negativity mm. through your thoughts. Mm. And so that's why the word of God comes in now, because when you renew your mind by the word of God, mm. you are able to live according to Philippians 4 verse 8. Mm. Whatever is true, whatever yes. is noble, whatever is lovely, whatever is adorable, yeah. whatever is of reference. Mm. You see that? Mm. Whatever is of good report. character and mm. report. Mm. You get, that's why the word of God is very important. Mm. Because without the word of God, you will find yourself struggling. Mm. But when you subject your, the, your mind with the word of God, the Bible says your mind is able to be changed into the same image oh. by, of God by the Spirit of the Lord. That is in the book of 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. And so the word of God plays a very important role. Mm. So you accept, then from there you, you get the word of God. You can also get a mentor. Mm. You can and be vulnerable. Tell them I have a challenge with my words. I think I've destroyed my children. I've also destroyed mm. my husband. I destroy my work. I've destroyed my workers and friends with the sin. When you begin from there, this is what happens. Your mind and your heart has been given capacity by God. Immediately you accept. Mm. The mind and the body gives you power and energy to overcome those negative mm. emotions. In mm. other words, a human being who is a man and a woman is a self-contained person mm -hmm. you are able to undo and the same and heal yourself mm -hmm. and at the same time you can still you know uh, you can also do self-destruction mm -hmm. with your thoughts and with your mind mm -hmm. so it is just a matter of who are you subjected to which yeah. power which strength which energy are you subjected to yeah. because negative energy will keep on coming yes. and and feeling those negative thoughts mm -hmm. and that's why you have to fight them with the word of god mm -hmm. the word of god says in the book of second corinthians 10 verse 3 mm -hmm. that we do not fight uh, we do not fight against and flesh, flesh and blood, and blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, powers, but with powers, principalities, principalities strongholds, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. arguments yes. in the mind, uh -huh. you know, casting mm -hmm. down imaginations, wow. image nation, image nation. nation. There are a lot of images that will come to you mm. and they take you to that nation that is very toxic, mm. your marriage. Mm. You fight that nation mm. that is bringing images that are contrary to what you're supposed to do to wow. your partner. Then the Bible says, bringing your thought under the subjection mm. of Christ. Submitting your thoughts. Yes. Right. So mm. you have the capacity, mm. you have the ability of every negative word mm. to bring it under the subjection of Christ. Mm. Wow. And so you are not alone. You are not, you are not helpless. Mm -hmm. God has given us power. Mm -hmm. You know, like I remember the, our, 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 when we married with Pastor Monene, mm -hmm. I had a problem with anger. Mm -hmm. I would get angry over small things. Yeah. My husband was not struggling with that. Mm -hmm. And she kept on telling me, my wife, I pity you. <laughs> when will you know? I pity you, and I'm, I'm feeling mad. And then you would tell me, you know why I pity you, my dear? It is because you have never understood that the person you grieve most when you are annoyed, it is not me. It's the Holy it is the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. And when you grieve the Holy Spirit, my wife, you will be grounded spiritually forever. That's true. Because mm -hmm. now you will never grow spiritually. Yes. You will remain with this challenge mm -hmm. until when you are 98 years. Mm -hmm. And he told me, one of the things that challenged me, Akaniambia, <laughs> if you read Galatians 5 verse 22, my wife, mm -hmm. have you ever found anger as a fruit of the Spirit? <laughs> Among the nine ah, fruits, they are I nine. said, Aya. And anger is not there. It is not there. Yes. Then he asked me another question. What are you doing with what God has not given you? God has not given you the spirit of anger. Mm. What are you doing with what God has wow. not given you? Mm -hmm. wow. So he told me, you are the one who invites the devil mm. with this anger. And you keep telling me, call my mother, call my sister, call my brothers. They, they, they will tell you, that's the way I am. Mimi ni kikasirika, ni mekasirika. And then he was telling me, it's like you are talking about the gifts of the spirit. Mm. And I call your mother, call your father. My wife, if you know that if you remain this way, you are cutting short your spiritual life and even your physical life. My dear wow. one, you would wow. divorce, mm. discount, and hate 
anger. And we then truth. another scripture that he, that made me completely change, mm. that one, I will never forget, <laughs> mm. is James 1 verse 20. And thank you so much, my pastor. Mm. I don't know why people have a See, problem. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why people have a problem when I call Pastor Munene Pastor. He's my pastor. From Sunday school. From Sunday school. He told me this scripture and I want every person who is struggling with anger mm. to know that you can you can get out of it. In the book of James, James 1, 1 20. 20, it mm. says this, Kwanza NIV. Human, Human anger does, does not fulfill the righteousness of God. Hey. So what is the opposite of that? That's what he asked me. Human, Human anger fulfills the desire of the, of devil. the devil. Of the devil. Or wow. fulfills the wickedness <laughs> of, of Satan. Wow. So he told me, you are saying you are born again, but you are using anger, which is the weapon of the devil mm. in my family. So how are we going to stay together? If you, you when you kasirika unapanda stool, uki kasirika unaenda juu ya meza. And I, I called myself and I realized this man is not telling me his own human wisdom. Mm. He is subjecting me to the word. Mm. And from that time, my dear one, you are a witness. Yeah. Anger left me completely. Indeed. Indeed. That is so completely. So and I was fit. Yeah. That is true. Mm. Something that I'm I changed completely. How daddy was able to communicate that one amicably without judging you. Oh, yes. And also how you were mm. able to embrace the change. Because oh, yes. there are many couples who are stuck mm. in the same, same issue because one is not willing, one is climbing the stool and saying, this is how we are. <laughs> you know why so, we do that? Uh, it is because the person who is telling you uh, to deal with maybe anger, yeah. he himself is also struggling with anger. And you see, yeah. according to the word of God, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 6, yeah. you cannot punish an act of disobedience in a person yeah. if, if your obedience is not, not complete. complete. Mm. So, you, you see, Pastor Munene, ever since I married him and I've known him for many years, yeah. he doesn't have anger. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Test him on anger, you get zero. It's like wow. that. It's like that button is completely, you know, off. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> That's the way he has been for He's years. So I used to wonder, mm. why is it that he also gets offended by me mm. and other people? But you never find him, you know, throwing towels. He's still composed. Mm. He maintains his composure. And he told me, no, it's not that I was born this way. Mm. I intentionally worked myself mm. by the word of God. Amen. And I asked the Holy Spirit that I don't want to carry anger because if you carry anger, you keep grieving the Holy Spirit and you never grow spiritually. So for me, I realized, and it is true, mm. when I was suffering with anger, if, Pastor Monena told me, when you have anger, every other spirit of the devil ah. can attack you. Mm. You will be attacked by the spirit of lust, stealing, uh, lying, all other spirits get a ride on that spirit. Mm. And indeed, anger. I was struggling with so many things, feeling I, I don't like people, I, I'm funny, I have mood swing, mm. and now, yeah, I feel like I don't want the word of God. Mm. Why? Because when anger gets hold of you, you know this is a tool of the enemy, mm. it becomes a loophole for the devil to bring other spirits. Yeah. That's why your situation becomes even worse. How he tackled is that yes. when you climb a stool, he yes. was not climbing on a stool. Yeah. He was sitting down. He would tell me this way. Yeah. <laughs> Sakaya, my wife. <laughs> Sakaya, my wife, calm down. Yeah? You don't have to climb on a tree. I can even hear you. No, you're not hearing. Me, I keep saying this thing. And I, and I, and I have heard. I have heard. And I'm ready to check, calm down my wife. Then one time he can asked. Can we talk without can we, Yeah. And then he asked me, suppose I also behave like you. Uniki kasirika na panda stool, na panda mesa, na 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 How would this family be? Yeah. And I realized, I think mm. this is something that I need to completely discard. But you know why? Mm. The reason why most of these married people, and that's why they're denying themselves sex, mm. they don't want to leave anger, mm. it is because this is the only way to manipulate their husband and their wives. Mm -hmm. You get the point, eh? mm. To be able to get what they want. So even when they know, uh -huh. That anger it's is bad. not is bad, mm. it is demonic, it is satanic, they don't want to stop it. Mm. Because this is what helps them to feel they are domineering, they are in control. Mm. It's a manipulative spirit. It is not a wow. fruit of the spirit. Anger is a manipulative spirit. And many people know uh -huh. that they need to do away with it. But this is the only thing that humbles their wife. This is the only thing that humbles their husband. Yeah. So they clean on it even when they know. To cover up. Yeah, but you know it is still destructive as long as you are holding uh -huh. on it. And it's also destructive to your children. Mm -hmm. In That's fact, true. you're not even destroying it's an your... a toxic environment. Maybe yeah. just to say, mm -hmm. anger, 
anger is an opposite of love. Mm -hmm. Anger yes. cannot thrive where there is love. And yeah. anger is a low frequency energy. Mm -hmm. So mama said something that when you are operating on anger, you will attract many other negative Spirit. energies. Mm -hmm. We call them energies. Spirituality, we call them spirits. Mm. So these are the things like lust and all such things. Oh, yes. And there is also anger that maybe it is prolonged. It is it is called sa salient anger. Ile imenyamaza tu. People don't know you are angry. Umekasirika, mm. but you are planning. Like the story we are hearing with you today coming on on, on yeah, with the yeah, vehicle. Yeah, yeah. There is a guy who has been angry. He's smiling. He doesn't oh, quarrel. Na yes. umeeka mm. yako. And that one can bring forth to things like murder like the one yeah, he was we planning had. to kill the wife yeah and my husband told me that uh, he keeps telling me that one that whenever you are angry anything you say even if you say it in positivity mm -hmm. it translates into annoyance mm -hmm. but if you are operating from love can i tell you you can oper communicate a very sensitive thing in a loving way and it goes home that's but what i was talking <laughs> what i was saying about about <laughs> my uh, pastor Munene, yes. because if the the, the 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 wife was on the stool uh, he also climbs another stool there's nothing there <laughs> so what he was doing he was you remaining know, on the ground yes. and taking her to the scriptures wow but what do we do mm. You throw, I throw. Good. You throw, I throw. So then who is going to win at the end of the mind. day? Yes. Now I also know. I also know. Mm. Tell you, so so you can't say until we have now one person who will now come down from the stool and now say, let us now. And that's talk. always the mature mm. one. Then, then we can. You know, the mature one. The mature one. one. That's the mature, mature one. one. Yeah. And that's I can confirm mm. what uh, my wife has just said, mm. because in our line of duty mm. um, in ministry, mm. in family and marriage, mm. uh, counseling people, meeting people, talking to people. There's a lot that has happened. Mm. There's a lot that has been said wow. the, over the last many years, mm. you know, and especially after now the tour, tour creep came. Mm. But then I look at my wife, how she responds, I don't, I don't how know. she reacts, mm -hmm. what she says, mm -hmm. because when you're talking about tua tua, mm -hmm. when you're talking about the sex, people will have all manner of reactions. Mm -hmm. People that know you mm -hmm. and that don't know you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Eh? Yes. People that are close to you mm -hmm. and others even they are very, very far. Mm -hmm. You know, all manner of things will be spoken outside there. And, and negative they, things. And, and negative things. Mm -hmm. But I look at how <laughs> she responds. <laughs> I look at how she, 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 she will speak about something uh -huh. and I can tell this woman oh. she conquered the spirit of, of anger. anger thank you Jesus. because if she never did that <laughs> thank you, the last about four years or thereabout <laughs> would be one of our worst moment in our marriage in our family in the ministry and all that because of the pressure from outside because of the things that uh, you know have come from time to, to time. time you know because when you find that the people who are very close to you mm. saying things that you don't expect then you're running, ah, even so and so mm -hmm. can do this, mm -hmm. can behave like this. Wow. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. my wife will never see. Ah. In fact, she says that there's nobody she cannot Me, talk cannot. to. You know, there's nobody that she cannot greet, mm -hmm. nobody that she cannot talk to. Like you nakuta mtu mwingine akimuona ni kama ana anakuwa you know ni kama amechanganyikiwa maana anashindwa pastor su atasema nini pastor su ananiona na muna gani knowing what may be happened yes. you know that is no longer in our family yes. why because we know there is no way we can talk about serving God mm. and we are serving him in hypocrisy. Mm. And there are many people, mm. call them pastors, mm. call them church elders, Bishops. call them leaders, mm. call them any name. You know, if you don't deal with this demon of anger, mm. that one? Yeah, mm. no matter what you are called, mm -hmm. no matter where you go, mm. it will fight you. In, in, because a cat is a cat. <laughs> in Kenya or in America. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. it only changes the environment. Yes. So stop changing environment thinking that you, what is inside you has changed. Mm. Yes. What you need is to work on yourself. Yeah. So just uh, finally, ma'am, mm. something on, on, on libido diet-wise. Mm. You can yeah. just highlight it as we finalize the show. Yeah, because mm. uh, also, also I would also add on something on what Beriri has just said. Mm. If this man or woman mm. 
is involved into masturbation, yeah. in pornography, yeah. you know, homosexuality, yeah. you find that their sexual libido will go down. Goes down yeah. So it's important for them to seek help and get a profession who can be able to identify the root cause of all this problem. Mm -hmm. It could be also what you have just said, the issue of diet. Mm -hmm. Probably this person is developing diabetes, hypertension, arthritis, mm -hmm. and because of that, of what they have been eating, you find that their sexual libido is going down, yeah. and they don't want to be vulnerable to, vulnerable to you to tell you that I'm not able to perform erectile mm. dysfunction is also there something we also call venous leakage mm. other there are so many conditions that can come and so if there is any obese some could be extremely mm -hmm. you know overweight they are not able to perform so if there is any psychological physical you know spiritual problem mm. you know it is important for you to seek help invest in mentors and invest also in knowledge mm. and then get someone who can come in to identify the root cause and be, they solve this problem because mm. the sex in marriage is very important to keep the bond of marriage together thank wow. you